Welcome back to this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook, where, as you can see, we're making something called Brr Rabbit Gingerbread. Uh, I've never had this before in my life. Uh, I've actually never heard of Brr Rabbit Gingerbread before, but I found myself throughout this entire week having the word Brr stuck in my head over and over again. So you're about to share my torment of having Brr stuck in your head forever as we Bake our way through history and this week's edition of Brr. Grandma's Cookbook. To start with, in a bowl, add one half cup of sugar and to that three tablespoons of butter, softened, and we're going to need to cream that together as best you can. At this point, I realized I had not turned all the lights on in my kitchen. I did so, and then I also added one well beaten egg to the mix. Combine until creamed. Now we're going to set that aside and we're going to prepare our dry ingredients, which consist of one and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of ginger, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one eighth teaspoon salt. I was too stubborn and tried to mix this all together with a fork. I eventually relented and used a whisk. Even though I probably should have still done this in a bigger bowl, I was lazy. Set that aside for now, and then we're going to make our other mixture, which consists of one half cup of milk, and then one half cup of brr rabbit molasses. Stir until it looks like a very, very bad chocolate milk. Then we're going to alternate adding the bowl of the dry mixture and the milk molasses mixture in thirds, making sure to incorporate each one completely into the batter before adding any more. Now while this is mixing, I decided, since I had actually never heard of this brand before, to look into Brr Rabbit Molasses, since the recipe asked for it specifically by name. Brr Rabbit Molasses was created by Penrick and Ford in 1907. It was an extremely popular folk character created by Joel Chandler Harris, consisting of books told through his character called Uncle Remus. And if you'd ever heard of Disney's live action slash cartoon movie, Song of the South, Uncle Remus is the, I guess, main character of that. Brer Rabbit himself is an abbreviated version of saying Brother Rabbit, and it's extremely fun to say. The Brer Rabbit stories can be traced back to trickster figures in Africa, particularly the hare that figures prominently in the storytelling traditions in West Central and Southern Africa. The brand itself was an extremely popular product in the early 20th century, and molasses itself was an extremely popular substitute for table sugar during both world wars. A quick Google search of Bro Rabbit Molasses will bring up a plethora of old-timey advertisements and recipes from the early 20th century, from anything from cream pies to milkshakes to cakes themselves. Back to the recipe now. Once you have finished making the batter, you're going to get a shallow pan and cover it in butter as best you can. Then pour the batter into the pan and you'll bake it in a mod oven at 350 degrees for 30 to 45 minutes. My assumption by mod was a modern oven and I guess the one I have is technically modern. And voila, burr rabbit gingerbread. And how's it taste? Pretty good. It's just what you would think uh, gingerbread would taste like. Very warm spice very tasty um i think it's a little better cooler than it is right out of the oven though but go ahead and give yourself a taste of history with making your very own brewer rabbit gingerbread and that's going to do it for this week on grandma's cookbook thank you all for watching we will see you next time <laughs>